Hello everyone, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in Cancer and I love you. Thank you for being here in this reading with me. We're going to be taking a look at your person. I we're going to be taking a look at your person. So this could be your ex or your current person. And for some people, this is your your new person in the future. Remember that these are general tarot card messages for the Cancerian zodiac sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These are general messages, so they may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest, let it fly. Taking a look. Oh, broken hearts. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I feel every time I come to do a reading, I feel like I get, uh, I get messages. Other, well, it seems so. It would appear so. I feel like something is about to transform in your love life, Cancer. I like it. It feels like an end to sorrow. That's the word that came through for you. An end to sorrow, whatever that means for you. Sorrow, heartbreak, negative thoughts, despair, feeling lack. A feeling alone, feeling uh, abandoned or neglected, whatever suffering you're going through, sorrow, and into your sorrows. What is the three of swords energy here for Cancer? Okay. Okay, it feels like it's 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 going to be made right. Like this is the end. Oh, let me tell you. It's like this is the end of this phase of sorrow of heartbreak i like it it's like some a new energy coming in through for you 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 want new things you are the one that's flipping this around let me explain it it's uh so this is the, the three of swords you're about to flip this around and make a it feels it's not a 360 it's like a 180. so things go right so that you will align with your love you celebrate you're happy you're expecting you're receiving love you're giving love you're sharing in love in this position here with the three of swords it feels like you're 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 turning down love you are not seeing love around you you're not accepting love offers even from family and friends it's like you're not able to realize or recognize that people actually do love you no matter how they tell you it feels like you have this disbelief or distrust that people actually love you and i feel let me tell you oh i like it something here okay i did a reading for you uh, a few days ago I, f I felt like you were going on this journey of self-discovery now i feel like you've come to that door because i feel you were making your way up some stairs in the dark just searching for answers and clarity how to heal your heart now the heart is here i haven't touched these yet but we'll see what's there in a minute so I feel like you've come upon this door, Cancer. Ooh, secret. I feel it's secret. It's something hidden. Only you know the answer to this. Only you could have unlocked this, this door. Only you. The path to this door, it's only for you. And so you, 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 you've come upon the door. I feel you put the key in the door. And then it's like going through a new portal. The minute you open the door, light bursts through. And you step through brand new let me share a vision with you because this is the energy i'm getting i'm uh, let me share a vision with you i had uh, uh, several months ago actually so i had this vision of a woman there were two women one man this woman she was chasing after a, a man right and it feel it, the energy feels ghost like the way it, it all occurred so she was chasing after this man but he was with another woman they were holding hands and he was pulling her because he wanted es to escape from this woman that's chasing him okay so she's running she's she's all messed up it's like it could have been her wedding day she's just tears running down her face her hair is wet it's distraught she's in despair it's horrible she's broken she's devastated that's the energy she was in she was so out of touch with herself that she was chasing someone else that wanted to leave her and be with another person. Okay. Then it's like in the midst of her chasing this person, something happened. I don't, something on the wind, I feel just blew past this woman and she, oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. She literally 
because I feel like I shared this I shared this vision with you before once before she literally did a 180 degree it's like she turned and looked in the other direction completely and she she began to ascend off of the ground she was uh what's that word levitating it's like she was in this angelic light being and she was lifted up and she started to glow her hair was beautiful like her beauty came back in her and it's like for the first time she was like oh oh my god it was so beautiful like for the first time this woman she's she she, she oh my god the 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 thought of chasing someone was no longer relevant to her all right she was transformed and i don't know what happened but something in the midst of her chasing this person he was like no go i leave me leave me i don't want you and he has this other person with him and i mean in the midst of her in the, oh my god it's like her glory entire it just came over her she just literally spun around faced the other direction and she lights it she just lit up and she was like oh my like a, a realization of who she truly is and what all the beauty that is ahead of her all she has to it's like an, a, her purpose and she's ready to go on a mission and leave whatever it's like the past no longer existed it's like it's oh my god it was a, a, a very beautiful and profound vision and that's the energy i'm feeling it's like literally doing this 180 just facing the other direction and then realizing and then it was after that that she realized that this person was actually the person that was letting her go was actually doing her a favor it's like this person in his energy i felt he knew he couldn't be what she wanted but and he felt that she was uh, maybe he misled her in the beginning to believe that he could have been what she wanted and he i feel like this person knows that they were wrong to do that this per <sighs> and this person has a kind of deep love for cancer or for the person in the vision but at the same time, it's like they just feel like they, they're inadequate or they won't be able to measure up. And so they went and found someone else that they feel comfortable with. So I do feel like this person feels like they're doing you a favor. Whatever the situation, if they broke your heart or whatever, you're about to realize that this person, it's like they saw so much more in you and they realized that they would have held you back because you'd have been focusing too much on them and not, you know, not focusing on your dreams i mean it's 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 nice it's really beautiful and let's see what came out so some of you need that transformation to look in another direction to focus on your dreams to have a vision of yourself to be inspired through your own life for your own life to think ahead where do you want to be dream big yes so i feel like when you came up on that door you opened it light burst through and you stepped through a portal that transformed you it's like in the midst of chasing after this person you ended up on like oh my god oh my god oh my god it's like <laughs> it's like this person literally led you here you know and then you you would chase them here up to this portal so that you can see who you truly are they were it's like this person was willing to make that sacrifice for you even though i feel like they were with someone else they 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 did that for you they they see something great in you that's how i feel and they may have disappointed you yes but you are ready to to let this go to move on that's how i feel it feels like the love that you will be welcoming in next it will be different you know it will be because you will be different So, so now you are able to stand up in your own defense to know who you are. There's a, there's a lesson that you learned. It's something that hardened you, made you more steadfast or more stable, more secure, more balanced. You know, it's something that grounded you perhaps, uh, 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 kind of enabled or ki kind of, um, what's the word? It kind of encouraged your your sense of self and your true worth to come through for you. 
and this is something that is within you it's not something that you're really broadcasting broadcasting is just more an energy a, an, a sense of stability within yourself that's how i feel you walk in faith this is my gone with the wind fabulous energy i feel many people may see you and may think that uh you're well not think it's just more like how 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 militant you are is 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 more in within you it doesn't really reflect on your face you know it's more in you it's more of your identity the way you speak your expression your beliefs your the action that you take in your life how you move that's how you, it's like your integrity has become more grounded and you're doing work on yourself So you're having a dream. I feel you're about to align with that. Because you're putting in the work. I feel you're about to align. You are working on it. And it's massive work that you're doing on yourself. Look. There's 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 a lot. There's healing. It's just I feel it. Like you've taken your focus off of this person and realized how beautiful it is to actually focus within trying, inner inner engineering. You know, working on yourself, your emotions, getting deep in your your sense um, of self, feeling out you, what makes you tick, you know, and actually uh, learning how to manifest your dreams and your visions and really align with those. So you're putting in the work and you're manifesting. You're you're putting in the work. We see a lot of money. We see money energy here. So I do feel like you're about to come into alignment with your finances because you're putting in that work some of you literally have departed from the connection you 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 are trying to it hurts you badly it, it you know it may have been more than one occasion that you got hurt or betrayed it's a lot it could have been things that you've been dealing with since you were younger the way how people treat you respond to you react to you and so it, you were kind of soft-hearted and so it's like so i so now i feel like you're building a backbone that's the energy i know it sounds harsh i'm cancerian so i'm talking to myself as well but it feels now like you're building a backbone or more stamina backbone look at this aligning your chakras aligning your spine and just you're working on yourself okay some of you could need to align your solar plexus chakra if you're looking to manifest financial stability here Work on breathing into your solar plexus chakra. Chakra, it will help you to literally breathe into the. I'm gonna literally breathe into the solar plexus region in your chakra system. Visualize the color, feel vibrant, feel fun energy here. Like I'm happy to be doing this breathing here. Just that energy. Visualize, visualize the color yellow. And I feel like the breath that you're, 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 you're taking in as you visualize in and out, it's helping to kind of soften the past experiences that caused you pain. You're not focusing on the, ex the pain, you know. It's more like you're focusing on the work, the breathing, this, the inner management, you know, the inner engineering. And the, the, the pain literally disintegrates and, and, and vanishes. It is still there. But you're just, you're working on yourself so that, not so that, you're working on, on yourself and the results will be you'll be free from all of these things all the past pain let us see what is the nine of swords energy cancerian what is the nine of swords especially it's in the reversal position what is the nine of swords energy angels first guides ancestors do come through in this 3d much love any clarification for the nine of swords energy like anything particular or specific oh <laughs> okay i've uh, it could some of you could have been a um as children i don't know what if i'm allowed to say as children you were inappropriately mishandled by maybe an adult that wasn't much older than you but it's an adult possibly a brother and um 
gosh anything else that is specific some some of you it's actually losing someone you love losing a loved one death any other specific messages for this nine of swords energy for cancers oh the ten of swords hmm wow this feels like a lot of people may have gathered against you whenever i'm doing tarot i literally feel like i lose my words i because gathered against you but you know what i'm saying <laughs> my gosh <laughs> i can't think of a better word they have gathered against you and they knew it this was deliberate they knew like they wanted to take you out all of them at one point and they it's like you were at your wits end and they all of them come together and they decided let's just end cancer oh my god that's how i feel like someone may have literally wanted to annihilate you or some a group of people on top of probably being molested or losing a loved one or 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 being mistreated in your relationship by someone who cheated was looking elsewhere just 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 this let's see that's why you're working on yourself any other specific messages for the nine of swords for cancers other specific messages okay we'll leave it here so this listen the temperance energy is really coming through powerfully when it comes to what you should be focusing on so i'm going to read the i'm going to read what it means temperance energy this will help you to let me see what is the temperance energy please my angels <clears throat> two of pentacles i know i knew i knew i knew it money instability work a job prosperity success it feels like being in a, a functional role in your economy it feels like uh, working in um okay what is the temperance energy judgment oh yes it feels like working in um an environment what do we call it having to do with the economy law speaking up economy something having to do with the your value as if you're not putting yourself out there something needs to be balanced what is this energy please do help me to clarify the energy here with the temperance energy for cancers any other messages angels first guides ancestors please do come through present me with a message or provide a message for me trust trust faith putting yourself out there taking a leap of faith uh radical action okay the it's almost like not knowing when to hold on to things and knowing when to let go of things or learning how to be light-hearted and finding balance in how you respond to situations knowing how to move away from things that are not serving you that are diminishing your sense of value you know being true to you it's um hmm. it's like being true to you standing firm in in your core values so that you don't lose yourself and I feel like when you stay true to you, it, it kind of brings you into your true alignment. But there's a sort of a fear to stay true to you because maybe you feel that you won't be accepted. And that is also what would, we would call low self-esteem because you're not really attuned or aligned to your value, who you are. So it's all, all about getting to know who you are, standing in your truth. Not letting anyone take your power, knowing where you are, no matter what the circumstance is, what the situation is. Not giving your power over to other people. You know, it's like with the two of pentacles here sitting in the reverse, it feels like you, live, you, you willingly give your power to people to say, here, you can hurt me, you can hurt me, you can hurt me. I'm so vulnerable, hurt me. I'm sorry. But it's that energy where, why are you doing that? 
it's, it's more like you need to be more firm. When you know who you are, people can say things to you, do things to you. And you know that you deserve better and you'll move on. Also tapping it, knowing who you are means you're, 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 you're giving attention to your, what is valuable, your gifts. So staying true to your intuition, trusting in yourself, knowing how to heal. It's all of that energy. There's work to be done and you're here doing, that's, that's why you're working. There's, you're doing a lot of work and it needs to be done. You need to take a leap of faith too with something that's at a calling. It's a calling you. It could be this dream that you have. I feel going with you, just speaking how you feel, being not being afraid of other people's opinion of you. If you let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Whatever is true in your core values, in your heart space. That is how you heal your heart. You pay attention to your heart, to your longing, your desires, what you want. Listen, I feel this. It's like your heart feels like you've been neglecting it. It doesn't trust you. I'm telling you. It doesn't trust that you make the right decisions. As if it, you'll just leave the decisions up to another person to hurt you or to say something that causes you pain. When your heart is here saying, listen to me. I'm here. Feel me. Feel my love. Recognize the love in your heart. Your heart loves is here as love and so when you you're looking for external love and external validation your heart is like oh so i don't mean anything your heart is broken that's why your heart is broken you need to spend more time with your heart in healing Spe look this is you alone some of you are single and that's how it needs to be okay spend more time and even if you're not single spend time healing focusing on you focusing on your heart Focus on your heart as if your heart is your own child or your friend or your sister and it is sad and it is saying leave me alone. What, what do you do? I feel laughter is very important too, Cancerian, with the temperance energy. Look at things lightly because if you are sad and your heart is sad, oh my God, you're going to look for someone else to make you happy and you're not going to find it because you're only attracting other situations that's going to continuously make you sad. So I feel like that's what you're working on now. Spending more time with yourself. Healing your heart. Saying, when your heart is sad, you're there to make it laugh. You know? When it feels heavy, you're there to lift it up. To say, I got you. You know, when it needs a massage or something. Because you, your heart echoes, it resonates through your entire body. Okay, your broken heart resonates. So if you feel tired, that's your heart. You can put your foot in your feet in some salt water or something soothing just to soothe your heart. Let your heart know you're there through connecting with your own body, your own mind, your own spirit. Your heart is reaching out to you in so many different ways, shapes, and forms. You need to listen to your heart. Else it's you know, it might die. And I feel you know this, and that's why you keep holding on, and you keep working on yourself because you're so filled with love. And I feel like this is what your it may have been your heart that called out to you, and you heard, because your heart doesn't doesn't give up on you either. You know, it's not giving up either. So it's like your heart did not give up on you, or something that has to do with your heart. And that, just that recognition and realization alone, cancer, it caused you to find love in a, in a place where you didn't look before, you didn't know before. So you're exploring this, working on yourself, paying attention to you. Cancer, please go ahead. Oh, I was going to read temperance. Let me read temperance before I move on. Temperance, economy, moderation. Okay, economy, economize. And I feel this has to do with your energy inside. Like how much energy are you giving to one aspect of your life? How, how much energy are you giving to your sadness or your past? And how much energy are you giving to your future, your dreams? Okay, economize. And so I feel once you start to really ha manage your internal energies, it will reflect externally for you. Moderation, frugality, management, accommodation. Accommodation meaning you do have space. Well, for me, it is saying you do have space for all things 
your broken heart is here but there's there's also you here there's there's it's not just your broken heart and your sadness and all the negative things you have so much more ahead of you and your life is changing so it's the judgment is here you know it's it's changing rapidly there's so there's there's space in you to be sad but there's also room to be happy you're going you can't just lay there and be sad and there's a part of you that wants to be happy you're deliberately neglecting other aspects of yourself and claiming sadness to be your life you are alive okay and so i feel okay so take your life in your own hands spend more time healing your heart space loving on you laughing walking on the beach just um just attending to your own needs that's the energy with the temperance card i love it for you and um in this session i'm going to ask you to go ahead and intend for a message that you want to hear a question that you want answered and i'll shuffle the cards and get answers for cancers let's go answers for cancer session breathe in the breath is very important so really remember to include that in your healing process while you're visualizing breathe and while you're here with me now do breathe with me ask a question anything that is on your mind why did you click on this video let's clear it up now Okay, so I got invest, save, be wise about your spending habits, invest in yourself, spend time with yourself, invest in spending time with yourself. This could be spend more time, spend more money on yourself or spend quality time on yourself or see value in yourself. Hold on to your values. Yes. Some of you could be moving to the city, maybe to work to 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 uh, to kind of uh, accumulate some money. And I feel it's like a specific intention that you're doing this for. Let's see what else came out. The five. So I do feel like your sadness will end. If It will go away. You won't be sad forever. So the answer is yes to that. Some of you are still thinking of your past. Sad. You're wondering, will I ever be happy? Or will I ever really truly get past this? The answer is yes. You will because that's what I'm talking about with the five of cups here. Look, it's, it's like looking in the other direction where your blessings are not at what you've lost, but all that you still have and all that you can, all the potential that is still here in your life, your life potential ahead of you. Instead of being depressed about um, what you lost, there's so much more to give, to explore, to live, to experience, to share, to become. And you're about to it's like you're, you have it's like i don't i'm not worrying about you and you're not worrying about you it's like you know you're taking this time to heal to relax to be quiet whatever you're doing but i feel eventually you know you have to you have to move on you know that so i feel one day you'll go <sighs> well time to move on now you know that's the energy okay that our time to let you go Okay, this could be someone visiting the graveyard and really talking to someone they lost to say I'm sorry or whatever it is or I love you. Stop focusing on the past, working on yourself. And that's what's about to happen. The O oh, and on the bottom of the deck, Cancerian, Queen of Cups energy, you are here. I feel like you are here. You are here you're in your heart, you're sitting here, you're you're feeling, I feel like you're feeling well. You're feeling like you are managing your internal world. You know, I feel like that's what you are focusing on. And you are looking vibrant and beautiful externally because you're doing this work internally. 
okay so you will be attracting all that you deserve into your life abundance some of you are moving from past connections into your truth and that's beautiful to see i love you thank you for coming through these are your messages for today can Sarian. i hope you found messages that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey um much love and appreciation for all of your show of support you can sh support my channel by hitting the like button sharing the videos with those you love complimenting the video you may subscribe by, by subscribing or liking um or if you're interested in donating to my channel or gifting me through some inclination that you may have to gift me all the information is in the description box if you want a personal reading that's also there and any anything just reach out to me my email is there i respond to you leave a comment let me know what's going on with you cancer how can i help you to heal focus on your dreams visualize hold your vision firm visualize the life that you want to live and it will arrive to you much love i love you so much honestly thank you so much for coming through i said that a million times and <laughs> and i will see you in the next i literally i can't get enough of you but i'll see you in the next video much love bye okay remember that you're all and all is within you so dream big cancer